In the grand canvas of existence, there exist elements so profound in their simplicity, so rich in their essence, that they transcend the ordinary, crafting a tapestry of experiences that are both ineffably beautiful and inherently free. These elements, nature, laughter, kindness, love, and self-compassion, are the unsung symphonies of life, playing a melody that resonates with the core of our being. Nature, in its unbridled glory, is a testament to the beauty of imperfection. Each sunset, unique in its blend of colors, each wave crashing against the shore, each mountain silhouette against the dawn sky, speaks of an artistry that is spontaneous and unscripted. Nature's allure lies in its ability to be at once chaotic and harmonious, a reminder that beauty often lies in the unrefined and unplanned. Laughter, a spontaneous eruption of joy, stands as a universal language transcending boundaries and connecting souls. It's a reminder that happiness is not a pursuit, but a moment, often unexpected and unplanned, where the sheer act of living becomes a celebration. Laughter is the antidote to life's complexities, a simple, free expression that can transform a moment, lighten a burden, and connect hearts. Kindness, in its quiet, unassuming presence, is a force potent enough to alter the course of a day, a life, even the world. It requires no grand stage or audience. Its power lies in its authenticity and sincerity. In acts of kindness, we find the essence of humanity, the ability to give without expectation, to support without reservation, and to love without conditions. Love, in its purest form, is an unconditional embrace of the imperfect. It is not found in grand gestures or expensive gifts, but in the minute-long embraces, the comforting words, the shared smiles. Love is the acceptance of imperfection, not just in others, but within ourselves, a realization that in our flaws lies our true beauty. Self-compassion is the journey of turning love inward, a recognition that the kindness and understanding we extend to others are equally deserved by us. It is in moments of self-compassion that we find our most profound strength, the ability to be gentle with ourselves, to forgive our missteps, and to appreciate our journey with all its ups and downs. Together, these elements create a harmony that enriches life beyond measure. They remind us that the most beautiful things in life are not those that are flawless or expensive, but those that are freely given and lovingly accepted. In embracing nature, laughter, kindness, love, and self-compassion, we embrace a life that is rich not in material possessions, but in moments and memories that are timeless and priceless. In our relentless pursuit of tangible accomplishments and material possessions, we often overlook the profound beauty and fulfillment inherent in life's simplest offerings. These are the elements that don't demand our resources but generously enrich our existence. They're the subtle reminders that the best and most beautiful things in life are indeed imperfect and free. Let's delve into this perspective. Take a moment to consider the raw beauty of nature, a realm where perfection is an alien concept, yet every element is in flawless harmony. The way the morning dew glistens on leaves, the imperfect symmetry of wildflowers, and the chaotic yet mesmerizing dance of the ocean waves. These scenes, freely available to all who pause to observe, offer a tranquility and connection to the world that no monetary purchase can match. Similarly, think about the power of laughter, a simple, spontaneous reaction that can bridge hearts and dissolve barriers. Laughter requires no investment, yet it yields rich dividends in joy and shared human connection. It's in these moments of unrestrained mirth that we often find relief from our burdens and a reminder of the joy in being alive. Now, reflect on the acts of kindness, both given and received. Kindness doesn't ask for a price tag. It flows freely, from heart to heart, often in small, unnoticed gestures. Yet, its impact is profound, leaving a lasting imprint on both the giver and receiver. It's a testament to the fact that the most meaningful interactions in life are not transactions but shared experiences of empathy and compassion. Love, in its purest form, is another treasure that flourishes in freedom. It's an emotion that thrives not in conditions or expectations but in acceptance and understanding. Love reminds us that in embracing each other's imperfections, we find deeper connections and a more authentic experience of life. Lastly, self-compassion is a gift we often deny ourselves, yet it's crucial for our well-being. It's about treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to others. In moments of self-compassion, we find an inner sanctuary, a space where we can heal and grow. Let's consider a different angle on this theme one that revolves around the concept of mindfulness and living in the moment. In our modern, fast-paced world, 
We are constantly bombarded with messages telling us that happiness and fulfillment come from external sources, the latest technology, the newest trends, the biggest achievements. Yet, there lies an alternative path, one less trodden but infinitely more rewarding. This path is about finding joy in the ordinary, the everyday moments that we often take for granted. It's about appreciating the beauty of a sunset, the tranquility of a walk in nature, the warmth of a genuine smile, or the comfort of a heartfelt conversation. These experiences, though simple and unadorned, have the power to bring us back to the present moment, to ground us in what is real and authentic. It's in these moments that we find a connection to something larger than ourselves, a sense of belonging to the natural world, a shared experience of humanity, or a realization of our own inner peace. They remind us that true beauty and joy are not found in perfection or in the accumulation of material possessions, but in the imperfections and simplicity of life. To embrace this perspective, one doesn't need to look far. It can start with a conscious decision to slow down, to observe, and to be present. It's about choosing to find beauty in the flaws, to see the value in the unrefined, and to appreciate the free gifts that life offers us every day. By shifting our focus from pursuing the external to embracing the internal, from seeking material wealth to nurturing emotional and spiritual richness, we open ourselves up to a world of beauty and joy that was always there, waiting to be discovered. This shift doesn't require monumental changes, it simply requires a change in perspective, a willingness to see and appreciate the beauty in the world around us. In the exploration of life's greatest joys found in nature, laughter, and kindness, the journey of Doug Tompkins is a striking illustration. Best known as the co-founder of the North Face and Esprit, Tompkins later became a passionate environmentalist, dedicating his life to conservation and reconnecting with the natural world. Doug Tompkins' story is a paradigm shift from corporate success to environmental stewardship. In the early phase of his career, he achieved remarkable success in the outdoor clothing and gear industry. However, despite his commercial achievements, Tompkins felt a deep sense of unfulfillment. He realized that his true calling lay not in the accumulation of wealth but in the preservation of the planet's natural beauty. In a bold move that surprised many, Tompkins left his life in the corporate world and turned his attention to environmental conservation. He moved to Chile and began acquiring large tracts of land, not for development, but for the creation of national parks. His mission was simple yet profound, to protect and restore natural ecosystems, ensuring that their beauty and biodiversity could be enjoyed for generations to come. Tompkins' work in conservation was a testament to his belief in the intrinsic value of nature. He found immense joy and satisfaction in the quiet beauty of the landscapes he helped preserve. His efforts led to the creation of several national parks in Chile and Argentina, conserving millions of acres of wilderness. These parks are not just protected areas. They are symbols of the joy and peace that can be found in nature's embrace. The legacy of Doug Tompkins is a powerful reminder of what truly matters in life. His journey shows us that the most beautiful and rewarding experiences are those that connect us to the natural world, to each other, and to our inner selves. Tompkins found in nature what he could not find in the boardroom, a sense of purpose, fulfillment, and an unbreakable bond with the earth. His life encourages us to look beyond the superficial allure of material success and to find beauty in the imperfections and simplicity of the natural world. Tompkins' story is a call to rediscover the joys that are freely available to us, in the laughter of a shared moment, the kindness of a helping hand, and the compassionate understanding of ourselves. In the tapestry of narratives woven through our exploration of life's simple joys, a singular thread emerges the profound beauty and fulfillment inherent in the free and natural aspects of our existence. So embrace them and keep on rising.